In the latest of a string of public correspondence, the Chief Minister says there's no justifiable reason for the pressure group to have published its concerns ahead of the usual 21-day period for a reply, and says it's surprising that a former ombudsman should have jumped the gun in this way. He says data protection arises from international obligations designed to protect individual privacy which are often a problem for the government and not a tool used for convenience. He says this is one such case where the rules forbid the government from being able to defend itself against the improper innuendos made by Action for Housing. Mr. Picardo says it is his government's empathy that has often assisted the cases brought to them by Action for Housing and which distinguishes them from previous administrations. The Chief Minister says that, although he has replied out of courtesy, Action for Housing is not a party with a right to adjudicate on whether or not the allocation in this or any other case has been properly managed or not. He says, having reviewed the case, he is satisfied it has been properly managed. Mr. Picardo goes on to restate that he considers the blatant, immoral profiteering with the post-war stock to be abusive and no less than an assault on the taxpayer, which has seriously impacted the government's ability to allocate homes to young people with families and family problems. He says he did not refer to Mr. Pino in this context, and it's something he has done himself.